Bye, guys. All right, let's sing our good morning song. Good morning, Aaliyah. Good morning, Annabe. Good morning, Audie. We hope you have a nice Thursday. Good morning, Evelyn. Good morning, Harper. Good morning, Jackson. We hope you have a nice Thursday. Good morning, Carson. Good morning, Kenzie. Good morning, Corbin. We hope you have a nice Thursday. Good morning, Lincoln. Good morning, Lucas. Good morning, Kia. We hope you have a nice Thursday. Good morning, Serenity. Good morning, Sky. Good morning, Sander and Fred. We hope you have a nice Thursday. Did you hear what today was? Thursday. Do we know what tomorrow's going to be? What comes after Thursday? Let's have Miss Sam sing Days of the Week with us. Hey guys, today I'm going to be singing Days of the Week with you. If you want to sing with me, you can. If you don't want to, you can just listen. Ready? Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Alright, that's it. Bye, guys. Did you hear what came after Thursday? It's Friday. So today's Thursday, tomorrow's Friday. Do you know what the weather's like outside? Have you gone outside or looked out your window? It's cloudy. Okay, can you help me count the numbers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Today's April 23rd. Okay, next we're going to read you a story called Helping Grandma and Grandpa. Ava and Anthony spent two weeks each summer with their grandparents. They look forward to the to this visit all year. Anthony likes helping his grandma bake cookies and Ava likes helping her grandpa in the garden. Anthony and grandma gathered ingredients to make cookies. Grandma reached the recipe, flour, sugar, vanilla, sprinkles. Anthony gets each of these items from the pantry. Grandma gets the butter and the eggs from the refrigerator. Anthony and Grandma roll out the cookie dough for Anthony's favorite part, cutting the dough into shapes. Anthony cuts out hearts, flowers, stars, and circles. Then Grandma puts cookies into the oven to bake. While Anthony and Grandma bake cookies, Ava and Grandpa water the garden. Ava and Grandpa smell a wonderful aroma drifting from the house. They know delicious cookies will be waiting for them when they finish their work. It's time to gather some vegetables for lunch. Grandpa grabs two baskets. Ava picks beautiful red tomatoes and pulls bright red radishes from the garden. Grandpa picks some celery stalks and cuts off two bright green cucumbers. Ava spies some beautiful yellow daisies and asks Grandpa if she can pick them to make a bouquet for Grandma and Grandpa. Smiles and nods. Ava and Grandpa wash the vegetables so Grandma can use them to make a salad for lunch. Anthony is busy frosting cookies 
in beautiful colors, red, orange, blue, green, yellow, and purple. When everyone sits at the table for lunch, Ava and Anthony look at the delicious cookies and colorful vegetables. They feel proud of the contribution they made. Helping is fun. Miss Sam's going to show you how you guys can help in the kitchen. Hi guys. Today I'm going to show you how you can help your mom and dad make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You can help them by grabbing the ingredients. You're going to need some bread, some jelly, and some peanut butter. You can also help them by grabbing them the two slices of bread that they're going to need. And then, if you want to help put the peanut butter and jelly on the sandwich, you can grab some spoons instead of a butter knife. You can take your jelly and you can scoop it from the back like this. And then, you can put it on your bread. And then, you can take your peanut butter and do the same thing. You can help them scoop it. And then you can help put it on the bread. But be careful so you don't rip a hole in your bread. Because then you're going to get it all over your fingers when you try to take a bite of it. Or pick it up. And then you can put them together and you can eat it. And you just help make a PB&J. And then don't forget to help mom and dad clean up when you're done by helping them wash the spoons and the plate that you ate it on. Okay, that's it. Bye, guys. Are you going to help your moms and dads make PB&Js at home? That's all we have for today, so we wish you well, we wish you well, all through the day, we wish you well. Bye!